Good morning, everybody. We are on the streets of Penang, and I did a little bit differently today. So, since we're in the streets, as you can see, it's a small little town area, and there's a lot of food, and there's a lot of things to do. But there's one thing that I tell people as I start traveling is I started asking people. They asked me like, "Where do you get haircuts?" So, I started showing my barbers. So when I go here, it's pretty interesting because you guys are going to be pretty shocked. So check this out. We're going to go to a place called it's uh Verlar's Barbershop and we're gonna check him out. Supposed to be a cool little barber, never been here, so this is my first time. So we're definitely gonna check it out and see how it is. But as you see, the barbershop's really nice, really kept up. And that is the uh, awarded barber right there. So it's always good to see. This is actually pretty cool. They do the... Did you do this all yourself, sir? This is, a, this is really nice. You did a really good job. Really? Wow. So you had all these old, you bought all these uh, personal old ones and just just hung them. So this is kind of cool. The old blades back in the days. This is where you trimmed your beard back in the day. This would hurt you. If you've done this, I've done this in Pakistan. It's no joke. And uh, man, look at all the clippers. It's crazy. Wow. What a neat little barbershop. I'm actually pretty shocked. It's one of the smallest, smallest barbershop I've ever seen, but really nice. And uh, this is... Delicious. Is this you, sir? This is you? Yeah. Really? Oh my God, you look so different with that <laughs> facial hair. Oh my God. So that's him right there. Don't be fooled, it's not a catfish. He just grew his beard out. And uh, he was uh, he was actually on the news in Georgetown. So it's kind of cool how he had an awarded barber shop, but he's well known over here as the barber shop. So I came to the right guy. Um, to get a nice little cut, so I'm pretty excited. So I hope you guys are ready to see how to get a legit cut. Look at that man's hair. That guy is definitely gonna have like four wives at the end of that haircut. Look at that, man, he looks good. Sheesh. Really nice barbershop haircut coming soon. Oh, you look good, man. You don't even gotta, you look good. You don't need to check yourself out. Oh, I can tell he's the very best. I look at you, you're gonna have five wives by the end of today. Mashallah. It's always good to see that. Yeah. So the, uh, it's always good. So what's your name, sir? Bella. Okay, Bella. All right. So uh, I am coming here to get a, prof I, I heard you're the best barber. So okay. in all of, this is Ge Georgetown or Penang? Georgetown, Penang. Georgetown, Penang. Okay. So I want to get a bald fade. I like the messy look over here. Okay. And then um, line it up. And if you could do a nice little beard fade and uh, just keep this dark, but just trim it a little bit. That's it. So there we go. We're about to get the uh, MVP Barber of the Year. And so you guys be ready for a haircut of the year. And he's already started, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. I, uh, I'm very picky with my barbers, so I don't let anybody just cut my hair. So we'll see. This is the, uh, the lucky person to cut my hair. They say it's a free haircut if I don't like it. This is true, right? Yeah, yeah. If I don't like it, free haircut. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. See, <laughs> that's all I need. This is going to be a free haircut. Because even if it's good, I'm going to still say I don't like it. <laughs> As you guys can see, it's already getting there. The bald fade. Putting in work. Looks really nice so far. You get it. Now, I do a lot of bald fades and I started doing my hair like this because of the fact it was easier and I didn't have to put a lot of gel. But it's been really good just to do a bald fade and then just clean up the top a little bit. Um, my new look, I'm kind of liking it actually with a smaller beard. So. We'll see how it goes. It looks really nice. And this is a cool thing. There's a sink in the front. So you just lean your head forward. You have all the materials, iPad. You have all the cool little art. It's really nice out here, like really, really nice. So I'm very happy to uh, come out here. So if you check out the prices, it's a haircut, shaving and wash for RM50, maybe a little bit more. They do a fa face wash. I don't know what the uh, face wash is, but it sounds like, do they do a massage too? Who knows, we'll see. But uh, they have lunch between two to three, but if you guys ever come in and you guys enjoy the cut, this is the man to check out, but very excited to see this area. Really nice barbershop. And he has like a collection of all his blades, that's, which is insane. Imagine having a collection. This is a really cool, unique barbershop. Wow. And as you already see, we got it pretty much down to the T. Um, still gonna get the fade in, but so far, overall, great haircut. A little bit of uh, more of like a language barrier, but it is what it is. But it's a really nice area to get a nice little haircut, get the nice little fresh lined up. 
want to see how my beard looks after this. I love getting haircuts often just because I love taking care of myself. Just because we do these vlogs doesn't mean that you should. Always take care of yourself. Like, hygiene is big. Ladies and gentlemen, you know this. Come on. If you're a guy like me and you love your hair, you cut your hair every week if you could. Um, fortunately, sometimes for me, it's a little difficult because while I'm traveling, I can't get haircuts like these all the time. So, but we're just making sure we look fresh today and uh, ready. The spray smells really good. I was like, wow. Oh, yeah. Man's getting it in. Come on. 100 miles per hour, this man. Sheesh. Okay. No joke. Concentration is key, ladies and gentlemen. Always gotta concentrate when it comes down to cutting hair at 100 miles per hour. Let's go. Ooh -wee. And there you go. Right. To the top. So you got the trim top, got the back trim up. Now let's check out the uh, area of the, uh, I don't know if that's a full okay. shape. Uh, just a lineup. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess, yeah, it works. It is what it is. We got the shaver going on. Nice little lineup. Just uses the uh, fresh water from Penang. Fresh, fresh water. Nice cold water. Let's see what he got. All right. Getting a legit lineup.
Mm, you don't need to do the line up. You're good. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay on the line up. Thank you. I don't want to do the uh, top head. Nice. Tones I've ever heard in my life. So, the weird part is there's no fade. Like, you need to fade this in. There's no fade. Beer looks good. There's nothing else. Never had that in my life. So, it's gonna be a little different for me. So, that's what I get. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. Got the messy look, which is good. Right, put the little, ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, that was a, that was an extra one. Oh yeah, oh, 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 oh. that one. It's messy. Okay. Good? Okay. So good? Uh, you're not gonna fade this in a little bit more? I'm gonna fade more. Yeah, you don't wanna fade more? Good. Yeah, try to get it like faded in more and faded in more a little bit. Just okay. like you notice how like it is? Yeah. Please. That was the uh, massage of the year, I think. Concussion protocol. So beer lineup looking fresh, everything looking good. Mashallah. Now I'm looking, getting ready for the uh, Pinang street food. And uh, that's it. How many ringgits, sir? 50. 50 ringgits, thank you, sir. So 50 ringgits. Um, yeah, you got change for a hundred? There we go. There's a uh, 50 ringgits, which is almost like a 19, 20 dollar haircut, I believe. I have to check, but let me not miss it. Thank you, Thank so you sir. Okay. It was nice meeting you, sir. Okay. You have a great day. There it is. It's Valeria's Classic Barbershop, yeah. if you guys want to check them out. Thank you so much. Oh, this is cool. A little uh, sticker. sticker. Ah, this is awesome. I love these stickers. I collect them. Thank you. Put one right there. Thank you, brother. You have a good day, sir. Thank you. It was nice meeting you. You have a good day. All right. So as we go, so um, as you guys know, um, that was the mo dude. I am so dizzy because he slapped the back of my neck. That was the most painful haircut. First of all, um, I'm probably not. I mean, I'm an honest person. I'm not gonna, bro. My hair is messed up. Like, 
that isn't a fake. No disrespect to the people that was not my, uh, my usual haircut, but I wouldn't go back. But it was still a good experience of getting slapped on the back of the neck. And uh, he did really good on my beard. Like, I'm very happy about my beard. But my hair, dude, I am, uh, this is not faded in. That's not, it is what it is. But overall, good experience for that. But me getting my neck slapped, yo, I am still, I, that's like a concussion protocol. I'm going to go towards that. That's crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed I, I keep it real like a lot of people they don't tell you like what it is but I'm a person about my hair and my beard so if I tell you my beard looks good and my hair looks bad it's gonna be my hair looks bad and my beard looks good but he was on the newspaper so I guess maybe beards maybe fades are different over here but um, that will be an experience I won't do again but I hope you guys have a wonderful day I will enjoy my hair regrowing Wally's journey um, tomorrow is never promised over and out peace